Hello there, I'm Richard Celeste and I'm a film student and today I will be talking about simple filmmaking techniques and on how it is a valid form of expression. So basically a film combines theater, music, and visual arts. And in my own opinion, a film or a movie is like a food. With the combination of proper ingredients, you can achieve a very good dish. So, so basically there are endless of ingredients out there that you can use to make your own recipe delectable and more delicious. And a film is no different. There are endless techniques, angles, sounds and styles that you can combine to make a good film. So as you can see in this frame, this is Shara walking at Venice Piazza. But as you notice, it looks nothing like a home video. It's plain and boring. But with a few minor tweaks and tricks, we can turn this boring sequence into a more expressive and artistic sequence. So let's try to do some corrections. First is the color correction. So color is one of the big factors that builds up the atmosphere or the vibes of the whole film. It depends on what mood a filmmaker wants to depict. If it's gloomy, exciting, happy, or you can even spike up the saturation to make a airy and happy vibes. And some use a monochromatic colors to emphasize texture, tonal contrast, uh, shape of the subject, and lighting. And it's also a way to escape from the mediocrity of a colored film. And personally, I think that black and white film can sometimes be more dramatic than a full colored film so i think i'll use this color correction and then i think i will put a vignette that's it so a vignette is often not intended however you can use it for creative purposes and to draw the viewers attention to the center of the screen or the subject yeah and then next is I will crush the blacks okay so I'm not being a racist it's a video editing term where you basically adjust the contrast to achieve a more crisp shot the opposite of it is called clipping it makes the bright part of the frame or a video more brighter to achieve an airy vibes next is the audio so the audio is one of the most important ingredients in a film if you have a good shot but have a bad audio the whole video is basically bad and if you have a bad shot and a good audio basically it's also bad <laughs> so you must make sure that your video must have a good shot and a good video to have a good film the audio is also very powerful it has the power to make a scene or a sequence or even a character to convey deeper feelings or moods for example we can make the scene more happy using catchy songs or score see <laughs> or we can even make our subject Chiara to look bitchy just by adding a club thumping music you see <laughs> that works a lot and to add more dramatic effect, we can even use a slow motion technique to make a shot more sultry. Or even fast motion often used in comedy films another good thing in filmmaking is that you can create 
a different dimension of reality. That means you can create your own time, space, characters. You can visually tell a story using different chronological orders. And it can contribute to the overall impact of the film to a viewer. Like a nonlinear narrative technique, where is the events are portrayed out of chronological order, like Slumdog Millionaire. There is also what you call the reverse chronology. It is a method of storytelling whereby the plot is revealed in reverse. For example, uh, Memento by Christopher Nolan. And there is also the digetic time, or time that is the result of the story or narrative. The story may span a few minutes, a few hours, a few days, a few years, or even a lifetime. Although the actual film length or the duration may only take 90 minutes to tell the story. So let's talk about cinematography. Actually, cinematography is a art itself. And there are a lot of factors that, that contribute to the art of cinematography. So in this frame, we used medium shot with natural lighting. And remember why a photograph is always beautiful when the subject is not in the center of the frame? Well, it's basically called the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a rule of thumb or a guideline in which applies to the process of composing visual image such as paintings, photographs, and designs. So the guideline states that an image should be imagined as divided into to a nine equal parts by by two equally spaced horizontal and um, vertical lines. And the important compositional elements should be placed along this line or their intersections. Proponents of technique claim that Aligning the subject with these points creates a more tension, energy, and interest in the composition than simply centering the subject. Next is the composition. So in cinematography, you have a composition. This is, this is the use of visual elements and principles to create a frame that is aesthetically interesting, attention-holding, and consistent with overall continuity. So yeah, the composition is a is the placement of uh, shapes within the frame that enhance the film's reality or missing sound. Because the frame has fixed boundary, composition will happen automatically. However, good composition must be made to happen. It is rare that it happens by accident. So the director works with set designers, costume designers, lighting technicians. And cinematographer to create the best possible placement of filmic object like for example actors must be blocked or placed carefully in each shot so they can be clearly seen by the audience and next of course is the visual effects and this is where the impossible happens using CGI or computer generated imagery we can do anything. For example, Shara. We can we can turn her face white, black, red, blue, green, and blue. It looks like an avatar. And we can basically do anything. We can even put a clock on the wall or a cabinet or a um bookshelf there are no limitations only your imagination and then finally the editing after the filming is complete the editing process begins the editor and the director will decide the length and the order of the shots and piece them together to create a sequence so it's basically the sequence that tells the story using the visual language of film or film syntax. So that's it. And when they say that 
a picture tells a thousand words well a motion picture is actually composed of um, 24 frames per second imagine how you can express yourself using film and so that's it again this is Richard Celeste and thank you for watching